Good morning, everyone. Guess what time it is? It's story time. I'm Amanda with the Fruitport District Library back with another story time for you today. So we'll sing our hello song and then we will dive in. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. Hello, friends. It's time to say hello. Hello, everyone. So this week we are going to be talking about opposites. Do you know what opposites are? There are things that are completely different from each other. So like tall and short and things like that. So we'll have two rhymes. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about opposites and I'll sing a song and then we'll have our story. So the first song has some motions to go along with it. Um, so just follow along with me. It's not really a song, it's more of a rhyme. And do what I do. Um, maybe we'll do it twice just so you can get the hang of it. Are you ready? It's called Open, Shut Them. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Creep them, crawl them. Creep them, crawl them. Right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <laughs> Should we do it one more time? Here we go. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place. Give a little clap, clap, clap. Open, shut them. Open, shut them. Place them on your lap, lap, lap. Them, crawl them, creep them, crawl them, right up to your chin, chin, chin. Open up your little mouth, but do not let them in. <sighs> it's kind of fun to move them really fast there at the end, isn't it? I think so. Did you see the opposites that we had in that rhyme? Open and shut. Those are the two opposites that we focused on in that rhyme, having something open and having something shut. So this next rhyme is going to talk about a lot of different opposites um, that will kind of use our arms and our fingers to show these opposites in this rhyme. Again, like we did in the last one. So here we go. This is big, big, big. This is small, small, small. This is short, short, short. This is tall, tall, tall. This is fast, fast, fast. This is slow, slow, slow. This is yes, yes, yes. This is no, no, no. Did you count all the opposites we had in there? So what did we have? We had big. What's the opposite of big? Small. And we had short. What's the opposite of short? Tall. And we had fast. What's the opposite of fast? Slow. We had yes. What's the opposite of yes? No. So we had a lot of opposites in that song um, that we can kind of remember as we're going on to read our story. Um, the story is focused on more colors and opposites and colors like black, what would you think the opposite of black is? White. Um, and just things like that, colors that maybe you'll mix. And so you'll pay attention to that when we read the story um, in just a bit here. So now we're going to sing uh, The More We Read, which we have sung before, um, to get ready for our story. Then we'll do a few stretches and then we'll read our book. Okay, here we go. The more we read together, 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 the more we read together, the happier we'll be. We'll read big books and small books and short books and tall books. The more we read together, the happier we'll be. That song has opposites in it too, doesn't it? Big books, small books, short books, tall books. Everywhere you look, I'm sure you can find opposites. So maybe today, after you listen to story time, uh, look for opposites um, throughout your daily activities. Okay, so now we'll do our stretch. So you're going to stretch up to the ceiling as far as you can, and I'm going to count down from 10. Are you ready? 
10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake them out a little bit. Okay, now stretch them out like that. Try to reach the walls. And we'll cut down from 10 again. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shake them out and now get comfy. We're going to read our story. So today we're reading Black Cat, White Cat by Sylvia Barando. And what do we have on the front here? A black cat and a white cat. Do any of you have cats at home? We have three at my house. I love cats. Okay, here we go. Ever since he was a kitten, Black Cat has been entirely black. He has two black ears, one black tummy, and four black paws. He is black from the tip of his nose to the tip of his tail. Ever since she was a kitten, White Cat has been entirely white. She has two white eyes, one white tummy, and four white paws. She is white from the tip of her nose to the tip of her tail. Black Cat only goes out in the daytime. He likes to watch swallows soar. What are swallows? Birds. White Cat only goes out at night. There's no better time to gaze at the twinkly stars. So there's another opposite, daytime and nighttime. Black Cat has never seen the night, not even once. So he asks his friend Blackbird, what do you see in the night sky, Blackbird? I don't know, Blackbird replies. At night, I'm asleep in my nest. Why don't you wait till it's dark and see what you can see? What do you think they'll see at night? Stars? The moon? Other, the, the night sky? And White Cat has never seen the day. Never, ever. So she asks her friend Snowy Owl, What can you see in the bright sky, Snowy? Don't ask me, Snowy Owl replies. I'm fast asleep in the daytime. Why don't you wait until it's light and see what you can see? So Owl only sleeps during the day, which means he's nocturnal. Nocturnal animals sleep during the day and are awake all at night. So they are opposite of us. So what? that is what Black Cat does. With a flick of his tail, he sets off toward the night. Bye-bye, Black Cat, chirps Blackbird. And White Cat, with a twitch of her whiskers, she sets off toward the day. Good luck, White Cat, hoots Snowy Owl. And that's how Black Cat and White Cat came to meet. They both wanted what the other one had. I'm going to find out what night is like, said Black Cat. Do you want to join me? Oh, I'm going to see what day is like, says White Cat. Do you want to join me? How can they join each other? You'll have to stay up all day and all night. So, White Cat takes Black Cat to discover the night. Follow me, she says. Then Black Cat takes White Cat to discover the day. I'll lead the way, he says. The night is full of wonder. Purr, purr. Look at those glittery, fluttery fireflies. When a cat purrs, does that mean it's happy? Yeah, it does. And the day is full of surprise. Meow. Look at those busy, fuzzy bumblebees. Can you meow like a cat? Meow. Black Cat shows White Cat the most beautiful things of the day. Daisies, doves, and butterflies. What are your favorite things in the day? Do you like the sun? Being able to go outside? Things like that? And White Cat finds Black Cat the most tasty treats of the night. Snakes, bats, and mice. Are you scared of those? Those things are kind of scary sometimes, bats and snakes, but cats like them. Day and night, night and day. Black cat and white cat are inseparable. So inseparable, in fact, they have one, two, three, four, five, six. What do they have six of? Whiskers? Maybe. 
kittens. And can you guess what color they are? What color do you think their kittens are? Orange. How does a black cat and a white cat make orange cats? Kind of silly, isn't it? But orange cats are cute. My sister has an orange cat. The end. So that was kind of a fun book. They're opposite cats and they show each other. They both have live in opposite parts of the day and they end up becoming friends. It's kind of cute. So that's all I have for today. Um, we'll sing our goodbye song and I will see you next time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. It's time to say goodbye. Bye, everyone. Have a great week.